In this video series on functional strength, we cover the following topics. And, by the way, you can find the list in the description below. Video 1. What is functional strength? Video 2. The 7 primal movements. Video 3. Relax into stretch and foam rolling. Video 4. Functional strength training tools, kettlebells, Indian clubs and more. Video 5. Bodyweight training for strength to weight ratio. Video 6. Grip strength and overcoming isometrics. Video 7. HIIT, high intensity interval training. Video 8. Is there any place left for resistance machines? Video 9. CrossFit, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and video 10, diet for functional strength. Now here is Angus taking us through bodyweight training for strength to weight ratio. TRX and gymnastic rings, like I mentioned in the last video, mix things up a little because they involve bodyweight training instead of lifting weights. Bodyweight training is actually ideal for general fitness and for functional strength in particular. The reason is that bodyweight training means you have to lift your own body, something that we regularly have to do in real life. If you can get stronger faster than you get heavier, then you can increase your strength to weight ratio and that in turn will make you far faster on your feet as well as more agile and flexible. Another advantage of bodyweight training is that it forces you to utilize all the smaller supportive muscles in your body. When you perform a press up, you're using the muscle in your abs, obliques, legs, lower back and more to keep your body rigid and in position. The same is true when you perform a pull up. And if you try to cheat through the pull up, then your body will wobble around in the air and you'll end up wasting energy and tiring out faster. This gets far more impressive as you start to approach more advanced movements. Imagine the kind of total body control that's used when you perform a handstand press-up or a planche press-up. These are press-ups where your feet don't touch the ground. If you want to see an example of someone who is truly in command of their own body and their own strength, then look up Ido Portal. He moves like an inhuman and will blow your mind regarding the potential of the human body. The problem is that many people approach bodyweight training all wrong. If you're just pumping out a set number of press-ups and sit-ups every day, then you can't expect to progress much. Instead, you should be challenging yourself with increasingly difficult moves in your 8 to 10 rep range, and you should be using techniques to push past failure. In bodyweight routines, you can't change the weight itself, but what you can change instead is the way you're lifting it, and this can be just as challenging. Find press-ups easy? then. How about training with clapping press-ups and trying to launch yourself in the air? This move requires acceleration in the muscles, which the body treats just the same as a heavy weight. The result is that you'll recruit more of your fast twitch muscle fibers in order to explode off the floor. And now if you try and perform some normal push-ups, you'll find it's a lot more challenging. Likewise, if you perform a push-up with one hand, that will also make it harder, as well as requiring you to strengthen your core to avoid tipping. You can build up to this by placing both hands on the floor, but putting 80% of your weight on one hand. As you get tighter, move more and more weight onto the other side. Now you're controlling your distribution of weight in order to maximally challenge the muscle. You can also just move your arms back closer to your waist, which puts you in a position called a Maltese push-up. This movement lengthens the lever arm, just like the Indian club. Now your weight is further away from your hands, which forces you to work harder. A great tool at your disposal here is a technique called the mechanical drop set. Here, you perform as many reps as you can of an exercise, and then make it slightly easier by changing the position. For instance, you might do as many push-ups as you can and then change immediately to press-ups on your knees. This enables you to go past the point of failure but still keep going, which makes it much harder. The goal is to keep challenging yourself to perform more and more difficult movements, which are called progressions. Once you can easily do 10 Maltese push-ups, you can then challenge yourself to do a single planche push-up. 
Ultimately, you should aim to get to the point where you're performing feats of hand balancing, which will involve moving from one impressive body weight position on your hands to another, all in a slow, controlled manner. Well, that's it for this video on functional strength training. Thank you for watching. And check out the equipment links in the description. Also, you can click here for a recent video or a related playlist. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the like symbol below. We really appreciate your support.